Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another uh, 200 pounds worth of 10 piece to have a hunt through. Looking for the alphabet 10 piece. Interestingly, we have a bag of bagged uh, bags and bags of sealed bags. So kind of exciting to see what we get. What does it actually say on this though? Where have these come from? Uh, National Westminster Bank, Camberwell, what? Camberwell, Denmark Hill. There we go. So, if anyone is local to Camberwell or Denmark Hill, these could have been your coins. Right, we'll pop them off to the side. And we'll have a look at what, we are, what it is we are hunting for. We, for the 2018 set, are missing the letters G and the letter T. I've never found the letter T in 2018 or 2019 on the videos. I have in the live streams, annoyingly. But there we go, two left to go out of 26 and we finished our first book. Can you believe how many video episodes of this uh, 10p hunt series I have done? Over a hundred. That is, it's got to be knocking on for almost two years of hunting, uh, at, uh, probably around a hundred, majority of the weeks, 200 pounds a week um, and not finishing a set. Very, very elusive coins. 2019, we've got plenty still to find. All we have are the letters C, E, G, whoa. H J L M O has decided to have a runner. There we go, he's back in there where he belongs. Letters O and R, U and V. So plenty of 2019s to get our hands on. We're going to see what brings us more luck. We're going to start though with the sealed bags. So let's jump into some questions then. Uh, Emily Williams says, would you rather still be able to collect coins but have no sight, which would make it tricky? or not be allowed to collect coins, even though you can see them? Bizarre question. Um, blind coin collector, we're going with that. Imagine that, that's, that's a niche and a half, isn't it? Um, ben Briscoe says, holy Toledo, will I ever find a Q? Question uh, mark. Definitely, keep hunting, you'll find one for sure. I hope you, you all find one too. Thank you very much, Ben. Uh, Alex Blondon says congratulations on 40k my question is are you secretly a crab and do you believe that crab people are equal to humans um, am I secretly a crab no uh, do I believe that crab people are equal to humans 100% all people are equal to people even crab people <laughs> Twenty eighteen, we've got our chance. G or T, G or T. It's X. X for marks the spot. It's a beautiful design. Unfortunately, though, one we already have. Charlotte Green says, "Love the coins." Ron M says, "Well done, forty k. You're smashing it. Thank you very much." Uh, Janie Button says, "What a brilliant and generous giveaway. My B I L is the Air Force. Oh, brother-in-law, maybe." Uh, so these um, so these having meaning to us I've learnt so much since following your channel my question is do you collect all pre-decimal coins I love the silver sixpence me too I, the sixpence is my favourite pre-decimal coin uh, uh, my favourite pre-decimal denomination I think it's a beautiful beautiful coin uh, but yes I will collect any coins from anywhere as long as it's got a denomination on it there's a place in my collection for 100% What is going on with this? Eh? Never in all of my hunts have I found a coin with two heads. It's got to be a fake, right? Or like a magician's coin or... That is seriously, seriously bizarre. I almost skipped past it as well, but I thought I saw it in my... I flipped it over and I passed it through and I saw the head. I was like, huh? What? 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 
Well, I never. I wonder. I wonder. Where are my scales? Right. Let's have a look to Lou. Weight of standard 10 pence. 6.56 grams. Weight of weird double headed 10 pence. 6.32. That is very, very bizarre. Do it slowly. This is definitely not a trick of the camera. That is by far one of the weirdest things I've ever found in a 10p hunt. That is so cool. Wow, well, pff, I don't even know where to start to describe what I think this, uh, well, it's gotta be a magician's coin, a trick coin. I don't think, this, surely it can't be a real coin from the Royal Mint. I find the chance of that so slim but it's fairly weighty. Mmm, sounds different though. Yeah. No, it's not real coin. It sounds different. It's not made of the same thing, but that is seriously cool to find. I never ever have I found a coin like this before. A channel first. In over two years of doing this, we've got a first. Wowee. Spectacular stuff. Hayden O'Keefe says, uh, great job on 40k. Thank you very much. Alex Wright says, congrats on 40k. Really cool achievement. I'm pretty new to all this, uh, but I check every coin that goes through my hands now. Uh, the Vulcan looks awesome, by the way. I was on the top floor of the ancient antique store when it did a loop overhead and the entire building shook wow very cool um jonathan rawling says hey christopher love the videos and congratulations on 40k my question is if you could put a cathedral on a coin what would it be mine would be lincoln cathedral well we've got um a lot of a certain cathedral going making the rounds at the moment i feel that we've got enough uh, cathedrals on our coin uh, thanks to the Paddington at the cathedral that's going to lose this year it's, it's a minted competition so apologies to those at Team Cathedral Team Tower we've got this one this year in the bag um, I would pick a local one uh, uh, Winchester um, it's the the uh, cathedral I graduated university in it's an impressive building it's local to me it's a beautiful beautiful part of the world um, Kian Harvey says You've got to love silverproof two pound coins. They all look stunning. Question for the Q and A. Have you ever experienced any paranormal activity or know anyone that has? No, not a believer. Um, that's not to demean anyone who's had an experience that's paranormal. Um, do I believe in it? No. Um, I wouldn't want to blindly follow with faith an opinion. Um, if it's a life-changing sort of decision you're going to make, I want empirical proof. I want to be able to either touch, feel, experience, or have a very intelligent person explain to me. Um, so yes, I don't believe in paranormal activity. Um, I've never experienced anything in the slightest close to what you could describe as a paranormal experience. So uh, color me unconvinced. I want more evidence than anecdotal. <laughs> Ian Pilgrim says, congratulations. Actually, to be fair, that's, I do enjoy a ghost story. So if, if people have got their own paranormal experiences, I do like hearing their stories. Do I believe them all? No. Uh, Ian Pilgrim says, congratulations on parting 40k subscribers. My coins just moved. <laughs> right, Ian Pilgrim, we're going to answer your questions. I don't know if you hit that, that, that clink, actually picked up on the microphone that was a bit hmm. I'm messing with the occult over here <laughs> I love it uh, Ian Pilgrim I'm very sorry for the fourth and final time Ian Pilgrim uh, the fifth time congratulations on passing 40k subs love your videos but one thing I want to see I want to ask 
are the sealed plastic bags recyclable? Uh, unfortunately not, no. Um, I prefer getting the bag bags because I, I keep them, I reuse them when, when I'm bagging the coins back up to take to the bank. But no, they're not recyclable. I have no idea uh, what I can do with them. Travelling Geordie says, what car do you drive and what's your dream car? I've got a BMW Z4 and my dream car is... Oh, Jaguar F-Type. I keep seeing them around. They're so nice. But I don't like the soft tops though. It has to be a... If, it, if they did a hard top convertible, that would be perfect. Um, Frankie Franks, uh, a regular and helpful moderator on my Discord server, says, would you rather ask a stupid question someone doesn't want to answer or give an answer someone doesn't want to hear? I feel like on the Q&As, I answer lots of questions that have been asked before um, that's, that are questions that people don't want, don't care about the answer for because they've heard it all before. So we'll go for the latter, I think. Um, Jennifer Clark says, great giveaway again, Christopher. My question is, what's your favourite English county apart from the one you're from? English county rather than British. Ooh. I don't know. Um... I wouldn't say that there's any other county specifically that I like over other counties. I'm trying to think about holidays I've had in England, so English counties. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it, it, that's a tough question to ask. I can't think of any question to quantify why I would like a county more than another, so I'm going to pass on that question. Ooh, there we go. I see what the seal bags are doing well. The bag bags have to do amazing stuff to be able to beat the luck we're getting. What year is it? 2018. Again, one we've got, but very nice. X, Y, and a double-headed fake coin. Kieran Birrell says, Hi, Christopher. Question, when you were a kid, what was your favourite sweet and why? What was my favourite sweet as a kid? Um, so I've got very vivid memories of walking with my dad and my younger brother from the house up to a petrol station that was on in our suburb um, and they sold these like laces and they had green ones and they had brown ones and they had red ones and it was apple and strawberry and coca-cola and I loved the green laces they were they were 10p a lace and used to give us 50p and we used to spend 50p up in the shop uh, and that walk felt like an eternity it felt like it took hours to walk there when in actual fact it probably takes five ten minutes um, you could run there in probably about three minutes flat. There's, no, there's not a garage there anymore, actually. Um, hasn't been there for many, many years, but uh, yeah. So um, <laughs> so that was one of, one thing I liked. I, li I liked wine gums. Oh, my dad's favourite sweets has always been wine gums. And I think because that's his favourite, they are the hallowed sweets that no one else in the household can eat. So I've got a soft spot for wine gums. But the recipe's different. They taste different. They've messed with around with wine gums and they're not the same. They used to be more, more chewy, less gooey than what they are now uh, but I, I, I love the um, what are they called softies squishies squashies the drumstick squashies the um, oh the lime and the the, the, the green ones and the bubblegum ones oh they're just man oh man I could eat myself into oblivion having those um, pocket poet says thank you for an awesome inspir being an awesome inspiration thank you very much question one when do mintage figures come out whenever the royal mint deem uh, them ready to be released unfortunately hopefully uh, by October or in October number two what's your favorite constellation slash star sign uh, again not something I prescribe to um, as uncanny as they can be if you give out uh, as broad uh, topics or things it's going to match certain people so um, I don't know constellations the only constellations I recognize in the sky are the Big Dipper and um, Oh, what's it called? Oh, I'm having a mind blank. Orion. Orion and the Big Dipper are the only ones I recognise. Oh, and the Little Dipper as well, I can spot. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know the other... St I, I know of them, obviously. I know the names of them, but I wouldn't know them or identify them in the sky. Tally Ho Timmy says, Why an orange towel? Have you considered any other colours? I'm sure we had this question a few weeks ago. Um, it was just a nice bright colour and I liked it and I picked it and when it gets when it got worn out enough, I swapped over to this the towel I've got at the moment, which is due to be changed fairly soon because it's getting a bit gross. Um, but the towel is just to stop the noise of coins hitting a hard wooden top table um, and add a bit of colour and brightness into the videos. 
Um, RJ Coins says, stunning coins for the giveaway. Massive congratula congratulations on 40k. What's your favourite colour socks to wear? Um, I love Star Wars socks. Anything with Star Wars on I will buy. I like brightly coloured socks. <laughs> because uh, Monday to Friday, I've got to wear boring black socks. So yeah, a bit of colour, a bit of Star Wars on it. Perfect. Uh, in fact, you might you saw my, my, my collection of socks as well <laughs> in the last uh, April Fool's video. Um... Marcin K Coins and Silver says Mag Manamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanaman
one of those trees and when I we used to park by it um, my car used to get filthy so it didn't matter I could spend 20 quid getting 20 30 40 quid getting my car valeted and then within a day it was covered in this horrible yellow tree pollen so uh, yes that's the worst kind of tree trees that make a mess uh, 94 JJ says incredible giveaway your videos are great for chilling out with a cup of tea uh, also got me clicks and coins as well keep up the good work thank you very very much very kind of you uh, laughter says milk chocolate dark chocolate or white chocolate oh that's such a decision so it depends how dark if it's really really dark really really dark chocolate I'm not interested to taste like this horrible um, milk chocolate I could like I could quite easily gobble a bar of milk chocolate white chocolate it's sickly but I love it so anything that's on the lower scale of dark chocolate and downwards I'm a, I'm all for uh, apart from very rushes you can keep your very rushes they're disgusting keep uh, keep actually keep your mint and your nuts out of chocolate I'm not interested in those not in the slightest but caramel chocolate yes yes please We'll get for one more question. Jonathan Crabbe says, when is it most likely to rain money entering this competition or when there is a change in the weather? I think the best chance we have of it raining money is uh, for there to be a massive um, uh, reservoir of water found under the Royal Mint that gets disturbed and shoots up like some sort of water cannon and fires all of the coins they're creating into the sky and it'll rain coins uh, thusly. So with that being said, let's get back to some coins. Well there we go, our finds for today. We got the letter X and the letter Y, both from 2018, wasn't it? Yep. Both ones that we still... Uh, well, I mean that we do already have, but star find! And I can't believe it's not an alphabet 10p. Is this? How bizarre is it? It's a trick coin, obviously. A magician's coin, a trick coin, or whatever you want to call it. But that is very very cool I've never found a coin like this before well there we go as ever all that leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins bye